Here we're asked to solve for y, and this is an important, uh, important skill to have because when you solve for y, you have an equation in slope-intercept form, um, and it tells us things about uh, the graph of a line. I'm going to subtract 4x once on each side of the equal sign because the equal sign is like the balance of your equation. What you do to one side when you're adding and subtracting, you have to balance it out by subtracting it from the other side. Uh, okay. So I'm subtracting that 4x because 4x minus 4x makes nothing. That makes 0. And we're left with 9y on the left side. Now on the right side, the biggest temptation I see is that students say that this is 7x because 11 minus 4 makes 7. Uh, but that's not the case. 11 minus 4x, that can't be computed because those two things are not like terms. We have to know what x is first before we can simplify that because order of operations says multiplication is supposed to come first. So here we are right now. Still trying to get y by itself, so there's one last step. That says 9 times y, so we're going to divide that by 9. And the balance step of using division means if you're dividing one thing by 9, everything has to be divided by 9. It's like scaling down your measurements. If you're making a scale model of something, you've got to scale down all of your measurements. Measurements. Uh, if you scale down a model by 9 centimeters, you've got to scale it every measurement by 9 centimeters to keep it balanced. And there we go. That's it. There's nothing left to do there. It's uh, Y is by itself, so we solve for Y. Slope-intercept form.